Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. Je m'appelle René Hobbs. Je suis un professeur de communication et éducation à l'Université de Rhode Island, des États-Unis. Today, I am delighted to um, participate virtually in the 40th anniversary celebration of CLAMI. And I'm so honored to be part of your study session. You've asked me to define my understanding of media and information literacy in 2023, to talk about some significant developments in the field since the last time I participated in an anniversary celebration of Clemi in the 30th anniversary. A, a little bit about the challenges for the future that we must address at, on a global level. And finally, about a little bit about my research priorities for the future of the field. So let me begin. You know, the definition of media and information literacy doesn't get any easier in 2023. Uh, new challenges emerge, and I've always suggested that media and information literacy is a moving target. Definitions of media and information literacy include attention to the knowledge, skills, competencies, and habits of mind that are necessary for um, effective participation in a media and technology-saturated society. I've become aware of how definitions can unite us or divide us. And I'm so uh, sensitive to that because depending on your discipline, field, your age, your geographic location, the words that you use for this complex set of competencies may vary. So that's why I think it's important to reflect on the significant developments that have occurred in the field over the past 10 years, because um, digital and media literacy, media literacy, media and information literacy, algorithm literacy, media education, all of these terms reflect ways in which of uh, increasing variety of stakeholders, new voices and new perspectives have entered the field. This is one of the most significant accomplishments of the past 10 years, the broadening of the circle, the widening of interest. Um, and that presents an incredible opportunity for the future of the field. Now, the, there are significant challenges for the future and everyone recognizes the way in which the silos that exist between education, culture, and media continue to push us apart uh, and uh, limit the full potential of digital media and information literacy. So increased coordination across the institutional uh, 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 stakeholders is important. And I also think that um, measurement is becoming a more important um, challenge for the future as we try to find ways to visualize what media information and digital literacy look like in particular contexts. We need to visualize more with more concreteness and specificity. What does it look like in the home when parents support the development of children's media literacy competencies? What does it look like in the preschool? What does it look like in elementary school, in middle school, in high school, in university, and even in the workplace? And even for us older adults and senior citizens, the opportunity to make concrete and specific uh, the visualizations of media literacy will go a long way toward uh, successful implementation of programs and better um, measurement outcomes as well. Now, in terms of my own research, I might just say that one of the places of curiosity that I have right now is to better understand the role of dialogue and discussion as key elements of media literacy pedagogy. You know, for the last 10 years, I've been quite focused on what I call the create to learn pedagogies, where students are involved in making media as a way to develop media literacy competencies. But I've now, I'm now turning my attention to better understand the role of dialogue and discussion in promoting the kind of critical thinking skills that transfer across 
the class from the classroom to the culture and that become habits of mind that are routinely implemented uh, as we encounter all, all kinds of media and uh, texts, including texts that are designed to entertain, uh, inform, and persuade. I believe that dialogue and discussion can ignite learner engagement, but I also believe that dialogue and discussion can advance intellectual curiosity. And most importantly, I think that dialogue and discussion, as it brings us in contact with diverse others, can promote intellectual humility and a stance, a willingness to acknowledge the limits of our knowledge. As we come into the new decade, 2023 and beyond, we acknowledge the epistemological crisis that uh, we are inhabiting as we try to understand the changing nature of knowledge in a, at a time when expertise is confronting authenticity as ways of deciding who and what to believe. I have confidence that working together locally, nationally, and globally, together we can make progress in ensuring that media and information literacy competencies are the birthright of citizens across the globe. Thank you, Clemmy, for your great work in advancing media literacy and congratulations on your 40th anniversary.